In today's video, I'm going to make the argument that Will Muschamp is the most overrated coach in college football history. The teams get worse every year. In his last season at Texas, Texas had a 5-7 and seven record. The defense seemed to struggle against all the teams in the Big 12 that year. In 2014, his final season with the Florida Gators, they lost 42-13 to Missouri. The record was also terrible that year. That got him fired midseason after a loss against South Carolina. In his final season in South Carolina, he had a 2-8 record and got fired midseason. Whenever he's at a team long enough, the team does not improve. The team has always declined. Everybody just do your job. You understand that? When he was the defensive coordinator at Auburn, when they were down only one score, his inability to control his anger cost the team not one 15-yard penalty, but two. His anger issues clearly shows his players losing respect for him. It's not only the players that lose respect for him. His coaches lose respect for him. The fans lose respect for him. During the dead ball period, we had an unsportsmanlike conduct against the bench of Auburn. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is a 30-yard penalty on the end of a, what, four or five-yard play? He was back out on the field. They had to drag him off again. He is very fortunate he did not get 15 more right there. The kick goes through, and look at him, Jerry, right there. Look at him get pulled back. A good job by the assistants to turn what could have been another disaster and Tom Ritter is telling Will he's got to cool it. The commissioner of the SEC Greg Sankey is here. His decision making has been terrible at not only the Florida Gators but also with the Gamecocks. He has gone for field goals and we clearly needed touchdowns. We're down 14. Seven minutes to go. It's the same drive. We're still down 14. Four minutes to go. In with three minutes to go. The time is not on their side. And they've been rotating 55 to go. Man, this clock just continues to dwindle away. I mean, they're changing personnel packages and rotating. Right, I'm just. We're down two touchdowns. Damn it. We took it down to four, three, two. Terrible game plans, terrible decision making. But that's Will Muschamp. He loved throwing players under the bus. He has constantly said in press conferences that his quarterback needs to throw better, his defenses need to tackle better, his wide receivers need to catch better. He's also have a history of firing assistant coaches. He had seven different coordinators in nine years as a head coach. He rarely ever says, it was my fault, I need to go back and look. I mean, that situation, catch the ball. You know, it's really the, really the message, catch the ball. You know, I mean, you can argue about this, thrown in traffic, this, that, and the other. Put you on scholarship at Florida, catch it. And in man-to-man, -man, we got beat some in man coverage. So it's tough when you can't win man, and then you play zone coverage, and, and you, you, he's very active with the football. We dropped two, one was for a touchdown. Uh, but they were loading the box. So we we're going to take our shots deep. And we got whipped up front. But I mean, let's, we we need to catch the ball. If we catch the ball. It's a different com complexion of the game early in the ball game. Questions I mean, so uh, hold on now. You're complaining about me throwing it. I mean, seriously, I've been getting drilled for four years for running the ball, and now I say we throw it, and I get drilled for. I mean, you guys are amazing. You didn't complete a single one. Huh? You didn't complete it. We got a pi. That's what we wanted. It looked like he was a great coach. But was he really? A lot of coordinators look good under Mac Brown and Nick Saban, both Hall of Fame head coaches in college football. He has some of the worst records you can have as a head coach and a defense coordinator. In 2011, that was the Gators' first losing conference season since 1979. As a head coach, he had a seven game losing streak with the Gators and a six game losing streak with the Gamecocks. I've tried looking there's not many head coaches in the SEC that ever had more than five losses in a row. He had six and seven. In 2008 at Texas, 
when you needed a defensive coordinator more than ever to come up with a great game plan against Mike Leach and Texas Tech. Will Muschamp gave up 39 points, losing the game and losing any chance Texas had at a national championship that year. In 2010, when you needed a defense coordinator more than ever, he had weeks to prepare for Alabama. They gave up 37 points in the championship game against Alabama. He gave the Gators the first losing season since 1979. He was the first Gator coach since the 1950s to have two losing records in the SEC. Nine seasons as a head coach, only two bowl wins. His record in the SEC is 34 and 37. That's right, 34 wins, 37 losses. His record against his rivals, Florida State when he was with the Gators, Clemson when he was with the Gamecocks, is 1-8. In 2014, as a defense coordinator at Auburn, Auburn's defense gave up 30-plus points in seven straight SEC games. Yes, 30-plus points given up by Auburn while he was the defense coordinator in seven straight SEC games. Drain the swamp! Happy Thanksgiving! Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Eagle Nation! Remember this day, November 23rd, 2013! I promised everybody a dollar if you'd stand up when I walked up here. I don't. I didn't bring that many dollars, so. Uh...